Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is the Winter Disco channel where we do unboxings of things and not press record. So I just did an entire unboxing of this and forgot to press the record button. So I'm feeling, feeling pretty good of myself right now. Um, we do have the Illuminol Seras. So this is what we are going to look at today in this video. This is, ah, it's a beautiful model. So on the back side we have a whole bunch of um, different images there including the nicely named impaling legs and that poor guy right there poor fella feel bad for him now the paints here i'm looking through here i'm not up on every single paint but i don't recognize sycorax bronze or rune lord brass i don't think they're some of the new paints but they are there which is a bit strange um i'm pretty sure they're not correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below all right, so let's actually open this now on camera. I'm feeling pretty proud of myself at the moment. Pretty proud for not recording it when I did it. So a whole bunch of cool stuff. Okay, first things first, huge base. This is huge. I don't have any other models to compare it to and we'll do that once we do the build. But it's like, I think it's a 60 to 80 mil base. It's freaking huge. We'll come back to the models in a second, but we'll have a look at the build guide. Um, the build guide is, very straightforward. There's a few, this seems a little bit fiddly at the beginning just to get the base structure in, but after that, everything just seems to just clip on, slide in, and then you glue up. Again, step seven here seems a little bit fiddly, um, but we'll go over that when we do the build. I may keep the arm separate just so we can get in there and get some paint on there. Um, if I do paint this, who knows? I don't usually paint my models, I usually put them together and that's it. And then we have the best bit for the end, this unfortunate fellow getting wrecked. We also have the rules which I will go over um, probably in the second half of the video. Um, you might have already seen them but we'll go over that anyway. Now onto the sprue. There is a lot of detail in here, see if I can find some. Okay, we'll just go into this um, back panel here. Might not be able to see it yet but there's so many little dints and grooves. There's a big one right there, just at the tip of my finger. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but over all the panels, like the legs as well, there's all these little cuts and grooves and a whole bunch of stuff. You have a really, really nice base. And um, this unfortunate fellow here, that's really sad. So he's not part of the um, Adaptus Mechanicus. He's just, just an average dude. I actually really like the design of the armor here. I'm hoping that um, Games Workshop do go through and start releasing some more Imperial models. Please, that's my big wish list. Um, bit of grime on there. But yeah, there's tons of bits of detail in there that you can just throw some paint on and it's gonna stick really nice and show up. So very good for washes and contrast paints. So let's get into the build and see how we go. And here it is. He is a big boy. Surprisingly not as big as I thought he would be. Um, for some reason I thought he was going to be bigger. But I think just on the base and with his wide legs and with a lot of stuff going on, he seems to come across like he's a much, much bigger boy. So yeah. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Um, it is a... F I'm not going to lie, it is a pain to put together in some parts. Particularly this part right here. The whole blood thing all the way around there from the head up there. Um, it is a mess. I don't think you'll be able to see if I can get it in shot. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see too well exactly what I had to do. But I had to pull some glue in to try and make it a little bit organic. I'm um, down in the bottom too. See if I can get the right angle there. You can see it doesn't quite line up. Um, but... You know, I might have a play around to try and fix that up. But yeah, there is tons of detail in here. I'm pretty excited to put some more basing material on and have a go. But I thought I'd point out in the instructions exactly where the problems are that you're going to come across. So um, the first step here, this section here, the contact points are very small and I missed them first. I was like, how does this go together? And the other issue is the second image here is the reverse. 
So you stick it on and then it's twisted around. So it's not really clear. The legs fit in without any issue. Um, they're all like ball joints and keyed in with a little triangle. So they go in with no problem at all. Everything else seemed to slide in very well. And then we get to this hand. This was horrible. The, the images aren't that clear. And if you look on piece 24, right there, the bit that curves up, it just completely snapped off. Like I touched it and it snapped off. And I'm finding that a lot with more recent GW kits that have a lot of detail, very fine detail, it is difficult. I just still have nightmares of dealing with the Eldar from the Blackstone Fortress model where didn't even cut it off the sprue and it snapped on the sprue. <laughs> it's, um, it's rifle just snapped right off, right through the middle, so that's a bit of a pain. Um, so once you figure out where it slots together, it's fine, it's just very finicky. And then everything else sort of seems to have to go together at the same time. And then we get this bit. This, um, this part here is fine. Putting the body in there, but the arm, it just doesn't seem to fit well in there unless I completely miss the point of where it goes, but it just doesn't seem to fit properly. So yeah, there's definitely a few things to look out. So let's have a brief look at the rules here. I thought I'd point this out. So it's seven power. Um, it's a single mon model, it has Eldritch Lance, an Eldritch Lance and Impaling Legs, and I think that's, I love the Impaling Legs. Um, so the Lance does 18 inch Assault D3, Strength 8, minus four, and D6 damage. The melee is just a little bit tougher, but it has minus three AP, which is good. And then when you're attacking, you get two extra attacks. So instead of the normal four, you'll get six. So that is pretty cool. So for abilities, um, Living Metal, at the start of each turn, this model gains one wound. So you can always, you if you stay aligned for the whole game, you're going to get four or five wounds back. And the Master Technomancer, so you can reroll ones on the animation protocol, which is awesome. Atomic Energy Manipulator. Um, you get some cool stuff there. Empiric Overcharger. Overcharger. Uh, to do with Psyker stuff, which is cool. And then Mechanical Augmentation. At the end of your movement phase, you can select one Necron Warriors or Immortals unit from your army within six inches, and then they can get some funky stuff. So, they can get uh, plus one strength until the end of the battle, plus one toughness, or improve ballistic skill. So basically like plus one to the ballistic skill, which is kind of cool. So I think this is a pretty cool model. Um, I am keen to put it into my force of Necrons once I get the Indomitus box set and then maybe pick up a few more. Let's bring this puppy back in. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really solid kit. It is very fiddly. The contact points are very small, so there's definitely something to look out for. And like I mentioned, on the hand there, right in the middle, and just on that hand there too. I mean, that, that blood is really nice. It's just a shame I couldn't quite get it all together. I may have a little play around with it just to kind of get that hand in there. I think I can see what the problem is, but it was it's really fiddly. But yeah, there you go. The Illuminor Seras. Very funky model. Uh, you can pick it up for 84 Australian from GW store. I think it was almost like 50 US, 30 pounds. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I do like it. So if you have enjoyed this little walkthrough of this model, definitely leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing more unboxings in the future. So in the meantime, thank you for watching and I will catch you later.